So uh, Rob uh, from Kakker, uh, great that we can do the interview over here at your, at your house in, in Amersfoort. You're more than welcome. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kakker, for people that don't know what it is, uh, what is Kakker? Uh, Kakker is a uh, sharing uh, platform where we connect uh, people in their neighborhood, uh, uh, just uh, the neighbor next, uh, next door, uh, just to get uh, things done. And uh, things done uh, is a wide spectrum of uh, type of jobs which can be uh, done. Uh, things like uh, uh, mowing the lane or um, uh, baking a cake, uh, but also things like uh, simply uh, drink a cup of coffee or do some grocery shopping uh, for somebody, uh, and so on and so on. Okay, so so the, the, there are also quite some social aspects in the in the concepts. Definitely, definitely, it's uh, 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 connecting uh, people and thus improving the social cohesion. Uh, in other words, uh, 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 meeting uh, a person, a neighbor, which might live uh, three doors, uh, uh, three, uh, uh, three doors uh, next to your own door, or three streets, uh, which you otherwise w uh, wouldn't have met, uh, is an important uh, element. And it's also what we uh, get back from our from our users. Okay, cool. And 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 how did you get to the idea? Um, well, uh, uh, we look, I'm luckily married. We got uh, four, uh, four children, and especially when uh, they were in the age between, say, uh, six to, uh, to 13, uh, having a lot of hobbies. Uh, we had a small uh, taxi company on a Saturday when uh, uh, they went to the, the, the hockey, rugby, and, and the like. And uh, uh, on uh, Sunday morning, uh, we sat uh, exhausted uh, on such a chair and looking each other in the eye, especially my wife was looking in my eye, and uh, explaining uh, all the things which needed to, to be done in this, uh, this home. And, uh, uh, at the time, we did not realize that there might be a, a neighbor, uh, maybe uh, uh, three doors or three streets away, who uh, could uh, pick up such a thing. And uh, that's generated us the ID, uh, uh, starting uh, Cocker as a platform where people uh, share their uh, talent and their skills. Okay, and, 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 and the world is full of, of great ideas. Yeah. But how did you uh, make your idea to, re to uh, a reality? To reality. Um, we actually uh, launched uh, Cocker at the end of 2013. Um, uh, which is at one end uh, a website, a bit of uh, technology, uh, but way more important, uh, we built a network of uh, real people in the field, uh, corporate community managers and ambassadors, where when we uh, launched uh, we already had a team of over 20, uh, 20 people. And uh, the role of the community managers uh, is that they are also, uh, well, the physical embody, if you like, of, of Crocker. Uh, in other words, uh, 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 one of our dreams, our goals is uh, to uh, grow in the Netherlands, uh, for instance, with some 2,000 neighborhoods uh, to a team of some 2,000 community managers, ambassadors in the next three to five years. So that you, uh, if you need help, if you need support, uh, you actually can also walk to your Crocker uh, uh, helper directly in your neighborhood. Okay, and, and yet, uh, you're, you had already a team of 20 ambassadors when yeah. you started. How did you get them? Because this guy... Um, uh, uh, well, uh, out of all places. I think uh, the majority came from uh, word of mouth. Uh, uh, at one hand, uh, uh, we're also very active on social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, we actually uh, uh, placed requests for uh, what, you might, what we called uh, social entrepreneurs, um, uh, uh, people who uh, are interested in sharing uh, the dream of uh, building a social cohesion-based uh, based platform. And uh, we found throughout the Netherlands, uh, whether it be the south in Limburg, uh, uh, the, the, the big cities like Amsterdam uh, and The Hague, uh, uh, well, from all places, uh, a high interest uh, popped up. Uh, we also learned a lot. Uh, when we started, uh, we were happy uh, as we were unknown that people uh, were willing to talk to us. Uh, and uh, over the last uh, one and a half year, two years, the, the understanding of what is a good profile of a community manager also has uh, developed and uh, has grown. So what are there the main lessons that you learned? Um, uh, going out in, the, in real life, in real world, is the name of the game. Uh, being online, uh, uh, using social media, in other words, uh, trying uh, to build a community behind your screen uh, is not really working. 
meeting, making sure that uh, real people meet real people. That's the name of the game. And what were the motivations for community managers to, uh, to, uh, um, to join? Various uh, uh, people who, as a set uh, of payer, a uh, privately owned uh, business, uh, uh, came to Kroger and said, hey, I want to join a team to be part of uh, the team. Uh, 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 people sharing the same values. Uh, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's good to share that uh, uh, two years ago, in one hour, uh, I wrote something what we call the Crocker Cookbook, which is a six-pager, um, which describes our values. Um, uh, in any conversation, whether it's with a community manager or a partner of uh, whoever we want uh, to collaborate, to work with, uh, one of the first questions is, uh, do we agree on our values? Um, uh, if the answer is no, we shake hands and say goodbye. Uh, if the answer is yes, then uh, we learned that uh, uh, the rest is just uh, filling in the dots, uh, is the easy part. Because if you connect on the values, then you have uh, created uh, the real connection with uh, people and with organizations. So that's one of the first uh, 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 the documents uh, uh, we share with uh, potential community managers, uh, which, by the way, also gives a great insight in uh, how they work, because they work uh, uh, when they want, in the manner they like. If they want to do their crocker job in the pyjamas at 11 o'clock uh, in the mm -hmm. evening, fully up to, uh, up to them. Uh, in other words, it's not a regular 9 to 5 uh, j job. And the community managers also work like a crocker who also picks up uh, the tasks uh, uh, at the time when he uh, or she uh, sees fit. And, uh, and are they volunteering or are they... Or um, uh, 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 when we are starting, uh, when the traction is low and the value, volume is now uh, building up quickly, uh, they also are uh, what you might call paid for performance. Uh, in other words, uh, 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 on Crocker you can uh, post your task, it's uh, uh, demand driven and uh, as a uh, task poster you decide uh, what uh, you want either to pay for the job or uh, what you want to swap for the job. Uh, 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 you mow the lane and I bake a cake, which would be a bad deal for you, by the way. <laughs> for um, you too. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, or uh, looking for a volunteer. And I think that ma makes uh, Crocker uh, uh, special because so far we haven't seen any platform who combines those three uh, exchange models, if you say, uh, where the poster is fully in control. Yeah. And uh, uh, the business model is that uh, out of the paid jobs, we take a 20% service fee, uh, which is in line with uh, uh, what companies like Airbnb, uh, TaskRabbit and others and the like uh, take out as a service uh, fee. And uh, uh, a quarter of that service fee is uh, being used to pay for the community manager in a region or a team, because in practice we see already uh, teams uh, uh, popping up and building up. Uh, we also have to pay VAT, uh, which goes uh, out of this 20%. And last but not least, we also, as a social return, uh, 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 are giving back uh, the same 5% to a local friend of Cropper, uh, which could be a community center or a, a student club or a sport society or a volunteering organization, uh, which in turn also help uh, uh, creating uh, the, uh, 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 the knowledge uh, yeah. uh, of, of Crocker. And uh, the, the VAT, uh, do, you get, do you get related from the 20% or from the 100%? Yeah. Uh, the 20%. Okay. okay. The 20%. Yeah, so in practice, it's a small five percent uh, of that. Uh, so in practice, it's a five, small five percent VAT, uh, five percent for the community manager, five percent as a social return, and a small five percent uh, uh, to pay for the printing of this. Uh, of These beautiful shirt. shirts. <laughs> yeah. And and you started uh, 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 with the platform, the ambassadors. But yeah. how did you arrange to get the first demand and supply on the platform? Um, uh, 
Well, hard work. Uh, as always, it's uh, going around to families and friends and ask them uh, 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 to post a job, uh, to become a member and, and, and build it up. And then uh, 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 the next stage is uh, creating uh, publicity uh, uh, around it. And we were lucky in the last years in creating a lot of uh, publicity, free publicity, as uh, we do not have a lot of money yet. Uh, and we are not yet funded by huge VCs. We paid everything ourselves so far. Is Besides, it, a is that your ambition to get funded by big VCs? Uh, uh, if it helps growth and if they uh, underwrite our values, yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm really curious about, because I see lots of really value-driven startups right yeah. now uh, in in the collaborative or sharing economy. Yeah. But there are also quite some 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 big investments uh, by venture capitalists. Yeah. And I'm really curious. Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, 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 I'm really curious what will happen in the next five years. Yeah. Uh, because many yeah. uh, organizations they really started from, from really strong values. So I really believe that they're, they're, they're really willing to do the good yeah. things. Yeah. And the other side, the French capitalists, uh, uh, they also uh, want to have their profit in, in five years. Yeah. Uh, so there's already a big pressure on, on, on short term, so let's, yeah. let's say in five years, yeah. Yeah. making a good profit. W uh, like uh, when I, I uh, was a PC, I'm not, but let's say I'm a PC yeah. and I want to, to back Crocker uh, because I really believe in the concept. Uh, what do you say to me uh, to really uh, keep the value uh, of your crocker uh, yeah. and your ambition uh, safe. Yeah. Uh, well, we just got certified as a benefit corporation, as a B Corp, uh, uh, two months uh, ago. And uh, a benefit uh, corporation, there are some 1200 uh, around the globe uh, today. Uh, amongst them, uh, companies like uh, Etsy, uh, uh, Ben and Jerry's in the Netherlands, uh, uh, Snapcar, Trios Bank, uh, Waka Waka, and Tony Chocoloni. Uh, like-minded organizations, uh, which best can be described as social enterprises. Uh, and a B Corp or social enterprise, uh, the foundation is twofold. It's uh, at one hand, uh, uh, and uh, uh, be good and do good. Uh, in other words, uh, create an impact on society in a positive sense. And at the same time, being uh, financial sustainable. Uh, being financially sustainable is making, uh, implies that making a modest profit is also an element making of the game. So the type of uh, VC we would uh, be looking for could better be uh, named as a social impact investor. Uh, those people who uh, at one end say, hey, we understand and want to also to, uh, to make our money work for society at one end, and yes, we would uh, also love to see that uh, that money is being preserved and we also get a modest profit to that. Event. That would be our dream in, uh, from a uh, VZ. And I use the word between uh, brackets because uh, we expect a more uh, social impact investor would, uh, would join us. So, so I, I, I also hear stories about, about uh, intentional growth, uh, Belgium, Italy, but also with completely different partners. Uh, yeah. Can you explain something more about that? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, one of the things is, is that uh, building up a, uh, a platform uh, uh, of Crocker with uh, people in the field uh, will work if we build up also a huge number of people who, who participate. Or, and what we uh, foresaw from the, from the starting point was that um, uh, we wanted to expand also outside the Netherlands. Uh, so, uh, Why? Uh, to, to build up a volume of people who actually uh, join us. Uh, we hope to grow in the Netherlands in the next coming three to five years to some uh, 500,000 users of uh, the platform, uh, but simply uh, to also uh, 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 get a, a good foundation to make the right investments, to continue uh, on the, the technology developments, you need a wider base. Uh, uh, that's one element. The other element is uh, uh, currently we are uh, in Holland, uh, in the Netherlands, uh, working uh, in uh, 27 regions uh, uh, and uh, with community managers uh, out of 40 we uh, defined. Uh, and we already found that uh, by uh, 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 seeding in 27 uh, places at the same time, we learn a lot what's working and what's not working. So from a seed and select innovation perspective, it's better 
uh, uh, to work in uh, 30, 40 uh, places at the same time. And we also learned, and we saw that already happening when we started uh, and launched Crocker in Belgium early this year, uh, the first quarter, uh, together with uh, Start People, we learned a lot uh, based on legislation, culture, that's one uh, element. Uh, and one of the things uh, we learned uh, the, there is uh, also b uh, a change in our business model, which are going to test uh, there, where uh, uh, the uh, start people, uh, deans and checks ladies who do domestic work uh, for this, some 10,000 uh, people uh, uh, are going to act as a crocker ambassador to this people, which is a different uh, model. Okay, so you're tapping into an a a existing network of, of people. That's definitely, in that case, we're tapping into an existing network of people and uh, uh, try to understand and learn how we uh, can actually uh, activate that, uh, that one. Um, we are in the midst of uh, setting up and launching Crocker in Italy. Um, that's a different uh, situation. Uh, in both cases, we launch with a strong local partner. Uh, uh, and that's one of the things uh, I learned uh, in the past, in my previous working uh, life, that uh, uh, cross-border, setting up businesses, uh, uh, you always should do that with strong local partners because uh, they have some network, they know the practices and uh, it's uh, the, the, pro the probability that you will succeed as a Dutchman in, uh, for instance, in Belgium is not that high. Yeah, but, uh, also because uh, uh, Crocker is really intensive locally, uh, uh, like said, the Netherlands, you got 23 regions. Yeah. So it, it, that, that, that's quite a lot of work, but also quite a lot of knowledge of the local culture. Exactly. So exactly. That, that's also why it's not a really easy trick to, 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 to bring it to another country. It's time exactly. to just open your platform and uh, uh, go help yourself. And But the, the way you are now uh, uh, busy in Italy and the way you're busy in Belgium, there are two completely different ways. Um, yeah. But I also see that you're really experimenting a lot, which yeah. I think is really cool. And um, but are, are you also uh, uh, and you're also now making a, 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 a kind of a format of, of okay, what is Crocker? You already shot a told in the beginning. You get a, a, a manual. Okay, this is how we work. Yeah. Uh, you're also now uh, uh, putting all the processes and all the experience on paper. Uh, we look at also the further expansion. Uh, do I really can I, can I compare uh, uh, with a franchise model? Um, uh, that's one way to look uh, to look at it, uh, 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 and uh, we're actually uh, indeed uh, setting up uh, knowledge artifacts, uh, things like that. Uh, we train uh, a lot of uh, people. We love to uh, really share our knowledge uh, uh, and uh, activate it in the minds of local uh, people and help them uh, to get uh, the wheel spinning over there. Yes. Okay, and, and what I really like about Crocker is that you can choose to to pay somebody swap or uh, to do it uh, for, for free as a volunteer. Yep. Uh, uh, looking to, uh, uh, to the swap and volunteer part, yeah. how does the tech services look to that? Do, do they have <laughs> any idea? <laughs> but, oh yes, we were at, at, at a lot of discussions. Uh, maybe it's good to make the point that uh, when we started with uh, the volunteer and the swapping, we never had expected that currently half of the transactions, the, the transactions in Corker are swap volunteer uh, transactions. Uh, 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 the tax uh, organizations uh, 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 start to form an opinion uh, on this one. Uh, uh, if you consider it as uh, in Dutch a vriendendienst mm -hmm. uh, or a service amongst uh, neighbors or friends, uh, then uh, you're okay and uh, the taxes uh, stay out. Uh, just last month, uh, a Belgian uh, uh, member of parliament uh, started the discussion by saying, hey, uh, and this is on the paid uh, jobs side, we should allow at least for a minimum of 500 euro a month uh, uh, the possibility to pick up a paid job without any taxation on it. Uh, and uh, I think this discussion uh, uh, will grow into the future, um, uh, also because I foresee in the future that uh, 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 the uh, paradigm of having uh, labor for everybody who wants to work, in other words, full employment, uh, that we already passed some five years ago, uh, the point in time where we actually can uh, uh, cater for full employment for people. Uh, and uh, that 
will likely be linked to a discussion, it's not my discussion, but others' discussions, uh, but, uh, uh, on uh, whether a basic income would, be, uh, would become uh, feasible, which is also, uh, for which also experiments uh, are starting now in the Netherlands. Yeah. Now, if there is a basic income, uh, implying also that uh, a lot of people uh, have a uh, overcapacity in terms of the time and the talent and are capable, but simply there is not enough work anymore. Uh, in other words, work is becoming scarce. <laughs> Uh, 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 then it's logical that uh, uh, a platform like Crocker uh, can be uh, a great help for these people in also uh, uh, taking advantage of a good spend of their time. And uh, uh, the satisfaction people get out of picking up a task, careless whether it's paid, exchanged or volunteered, is, uh, and we measured that, uh, and what we found is that uh, the, the task satisfaction of the person who does the job is maybe even higher than uh, 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 the financial uh, awarding or recognition uh, being uh, felt as if it is a paid, a paid job. So people are yeah. proud to pick up jobs. And, 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 and how do you uh, uh, manage uh, uh, safety and also uh, uh, quality? Because in the end, yeah. many people who are doing the jobs, they are not, you, uh, or they're not used or, 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 or they're not uh, especially qualified for doing it, so they're yeah. helping others. Yeah. And in the end, there are also some examples, especially also in the platforms like in Task Rabbits, where people were uh, doing things without having yeah. the skills and uh, they had an accident because they were not, uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, it was the first time they did it yeah. and then they had trouble. So uh, at one side, how do you protect uh, the, the workers uh, yeah. uh, uh, of not doing things that, that can damage themselves? Yeah. And how do you protect the quality uh, uh, to the people who are asking yeah. for help? Yeah. But uh, 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 maybe three or four uh, points I'd like to make on this uh, topic. Uh, first, uh, when a, a job is being done, uh, people exchange reviews uh, on both levels. So uh, the crocker, the guy who executes the job, is being reviewed by the job uh, poster, the task poster, but also the task poster is being uh, reviewed by the crocker. Um, uh, review is uh, on a one to five uh, scale. Uh, instead of stars, we use these windmills uh, as, a, and, uh, as a symbol, uh, plus also a written text. Uh, and to give an idea, uh, Gerwin, uh, one of our top crockers who did uh, 51 jobs in one year, uh, yeah, uh, has uh, earned, so to say, a high rating, uh, but also a, high, a huge number of written uh, uh, reviews, uh, comments, uh, so to say. Uh, intriguingly, by the way, uh, uh, Gerwin uh, did not only go for the paid jobs, he did 41 paid jobs, but also 10 volunteering jobs. Uh, why? Because he loves to meet people and making a, an, uh, an extra euro in it. Uh, so reviews is one uh, important uh, element. Uh, there is a chicken egg in uh, situation uh, because uh, when you start you don't have reviews. Uh, now we see uh, because the reviews is twofold that the number of reissues are picking up uh, rapidly uh, at one end. Uh, so that's one important element. Second, uh, uh, we ask the people uh, to come up with a good profile description of themselves with a photograph and the like, um, uh, which is upfront being checked by each of the community managers. When somebody applies for Crocker, uh, then uh, each of the community managers automatically gets a signal and does a manual screening of the person. Um, uh, that's not 100% perfect. Uh, that never will be uh, perfect uh, and we always advise uh, to any uh, poster if, if and when selecting a crocker uh, to have the same consideration as if you would choose a plumber in real life. Uh, and uh, you also can compare it uh, with the old days where you had the yellow pages and you had to look for a plumber to give an example and you picked one person and then, okay, it's also a matter of uh, having luck to finding the right uh, person. Yeah. So we got said uh, the, 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 the reputation. So people are, are, are yep. uh, uh, giving each other uh, yep. recommendations. Yep. Uh, you got uh, the, the profile. Yep. Uh, uh, and what do you got more? Well, of course, uh, the real people in the real life. 
uh, if there is for what reasons or uh, reasons or other uh, a notion uh, uh, to get help then you simply mail to the community manager who lives next door and sometimes really uh, uh, two or three doors uh, away and uh, the community manager then actually uh, uh, stands up and is uh, helping with uh, anything uh, needed and uh, what we've seen so far in the last uh, uh, year of full operation that that may be uh, uh, three or four handfuls uh, of such a request uh, came uh, of which the majority, uh, 95%, uh, uh, could directly be managed or solved uh, by the community manager. And in the extreme situation, we had it uh, two times uh, last year, uh, 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 I, had, I stepped in and I also had a discussion. And the discussion always is a discussion by uh, picking up the phone, of going to the people, talk to the people, and uh, asking, hey, what happened? So what's your view? What's our view? And come up with a compromise. Uh, uh, if needed, uh, which was, was all uh, in, uh, in which we always were very successful. Yeah. And the fourth? But uh, this was the fourth. Okay, fourth, okay, okay. <laughs> but then still a yeah. question about okay, uh, so so reputation. So so yeah. so, so uh, upfront, you could say okay, I'm really doing some research. I trust this yeah. person. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you got the the, the 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 really rich online profiles, and when something goes wrong. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the community manager or you or Rob will, 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 will help. Yeah. Uh, but how do you prevent things happening like, uh, uh, there was an example uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, with Task Rabbits, uh, somebody had to clean the pool, but had, had no experience with that and used uh, the, the wrong chemicals and, and, and got burned. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, how do you prevent that, that, that people are, are, are having this kind of problems? Um, uh, uh, to prevent that 100% is, I would say, almost impossible. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, one of one of the measures we have taken so far is that uh, we do not only moderate uh, when people uh, pop up, but we look to each job. We look to. Uh, the bits, the reactions uh, on the job, we look to the comments uh, on the job. So we moderate everything. Uh, we also step in when we think, hey, uh, uh, this is not the right match or not the right uh, profile uh, to come up with the best uh, solution. Uh, is this 100% uh, watertight? It never is. But, no. uh, uh, so we, 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 we will not be able to guarantee that. Having said that, what we what experience in real life so far uh, is al almost 100% watertight reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I can imagine. And in the end, uh, uh, looking uh, at your organization, because you're doing quite some new things, but in the end, uh, uh, also at the funding side, it's, 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 it's still quite traditional, I think. Because can like community managers also uh, uh, become a, a, a shareholder or do you also have things about, okay, how can I also uh, uh, can give some ownership yeah. to the community uh, and, and also take it from that part as, as a social enterprise? That's a well, that's a different angle uh, from a social enterprise. Uh, uh, and uh, if you take it one step further, you go to a corporation uh, type of uh, type of model. Uh, and definitely, we would love uh, 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 to also uh, test uh, test that angle uh, in the next uh, countries where we're going uh, to launch, and if that uh, fits also the culture in that uh, in, in that country. And yes, we also in the Netherlands we set up a uh, sharing of shares, so to say. Uh, type of model where shares as such, uh, uh, if you understand uh, the notion of the word share, is about sharing in a company. Yeah. 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 So that will be open definitely also to other uh, other people. Yeah. And 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 uh, I'm interviewed quite some clarity economy, sharing economy entrepreneurs. Yeah. Uh, uh, when you look at you, uh, uh, your age is I think uh, above average, uh, or I think I know uh, above the average age of uh, with all respect of the uh, Clarity yeah. Economy uh, entrepreneurs. How do you look also with your uh, experience in life to what's happening right now in the sharing economy? Because yeah, the most yeah. entrepreneurs, they're quite young. They really want yeah. to have speed. Uh, they really want to do to, 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 to great, uh, great things. Uh, but at what way do you look like uh, at it? Uh, I like the question. Uh, first of all, I love the energy of young people who try to achieve something. Uh, um, and any entrepreneur who, who will need uh, help, simply uh, uh, ring the bell, drop me an email, uh, uh, and I also will share our experience and, uh, and knowledge, uh, because I truly believe in sharing. Um, uh, uh, 
so the spirit is ex is extreme. Uh, uh, I think uh, there is a delta in being a bit too internally focused uh, on uh, building the right uh, software, understanding uh, 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 that you have to build quickly an MVP, human viable product, uh, uh, to be quickly into the field. Uh, uh, understanding that uh, the, the true interaction in the field with real people uh, is sometimes, or could be, uh, improved in the thinking of uh, of the young entrepreneurs. Uh, and, uh, social media uh, is great, but is only a minor help and is uh, uh, what you might call reinstating, reinforcing uh, uh, to the uh, internal circle of people you are already got acquainted uh, with. Them. And one of the biggest challenges is to understand that uh, besides building the technology, building your organization, is that building the brand and getting your brand awareness is the real uh, importance challenge uh, uh, to overcome. And that's not easy. That's hard work. Yeah, yeah, I really believe. And, 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 and um, in the end with Crocker, uh, because you started it now two years ago, so really time to go, so we, because you say, okay, uh, the, 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 the young entrepreneurs there, they, they, they have a, a, yeah. a, a really great speed, but I think uh, if you look back uh, in uh, what your team achieved in the last two years, it's, yeah. it's also quite quite some speed. Uh, where would it go to? So, so uh, what is your, 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 do you have your dream or your end goal with, with Cocker? Let's I'll say where uh, in uh, five years later. But, uh, uh, five years later, our dream would be that uh, there is a Cocker at the corner of any street in any city around the globe. That's the real dream, and how quickly are we going to achieve it? The uh, future will uh, will uh, will tell. Uh, but uh, uh, build, having a model where we build on real people on the corner of the street, uh, having the experience and you might say the stamina of uh, uh, continuous learning, uh, also uh, understanding that uh, you uh, dare to reinvent yourself. Uh, to give you an idea, we are in two years' time already have been rebuilding the system uh, fully, uh, uh, which was a wise decision uh, uh, to do. Uh, so, uh, because that made us able uh, to uh, be very quickly in the market, uh, test uh, uh, other business models, uh, test the appreciation of our of our clients. So. A cropper on the corner of every uh, street uh, across the club would be our end uh, dream. Okay, cool. Uh, I can help you uh, with subscribing today. Okay, so that's, great. That's the first step. So thank you for the interview and good luck. Yep. Yeah.